first thing you do is turn the unit on, hold down power button, blink a few times, then you'll see the blue light blinking fast, which means it's looking for a device to pair with. Uh, first thing to do is the mode button, which is this right button, the little menu thing, hold it down to make sure it's in MIDI mode. And you do that by holding it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let go. Three, four, five, six, seven. So you hold that down until the red light blinks seven times and you let go and then it confirms it by blinking both lights seven times. Did you do that? You know it's in MIDI mode. Now, with this uh, looking for a pairing, go into show one on the device that you want to use it with. Um, go to settings, go to MIDI, MIDI Bluetooth, LE. See, it's already seeing that. You just connect. Connected. Okay, now it's connected. You go to, you know, play, stop, learn. Okay, not working. <laughs> so let's try quitting show one and coming back in. Okay, so that time it worked. So sometimes you got to do that. You just got to quit and come back in. Go to MIDI. You know, say you want to use the second button to skip skip forward. Uh, go to go to Note or one of these, Learn, and then boom. Okay, so if you notice, these are the default settings in here. You have that Air Turn Manager app, which you can use to connect to this, make sure the firmware is updated, and that's where you can actually choose what MIDI commands this thing sends when you're in MIDI mode and you're sending MIDI to things like show one. I just leave it on the default settings, which are uh, the, f the first button here sends a damper pedal uh, command and the second button sends this sostenuto command. So you do that and you just, you know, like I just did, you learn it and it'll learn those commands and then you should be good to go. Go to, you know, a set, Go to a default set. There you go. That'll stop it, and this will skip forward. So now that should you should be good. Now to be safe, and try, you know, let's get out of show one, sit there for a second. It's still connected. See? Going to show one. A bit later. Go back to the sets, default set. And it's working. So MIDI Bluetooth with iOS can get a little finicky, just to, like sometimes you just quit the app, start it again. Um, and now if, I, if I'm out of this and I turn this off. Okay, so now we're off. Now obviously, you know, that's not going to work, but if I turn it on, so it's looking, and it should automatically find uh, show one. Okay, well, in this case, it's looking for it again, so you can just go to uh, MIDI, there it is, and you just connect it again, and that'll connect. Now, again, it, we may have to quit the app and come back. Um, sets, default set, yeah. So it's working, um, you know, but every time you kind of power things on, especially if you're doing a gig or anything like that, good idea to just, you know, verify that it's all connected again, but that, that's as simple as that.